Today's demonstration is a simple toolbar button that we developed right here, and it allows you to flatten your stamps or other annotations. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to stamp this document with our approved um, custom built dynamic stamp here. It's got our logo and the time it was stamped. Um, and if I open the comments panel, you'll see that stamp right here. So because it's a stamp, I can move it around. And if I want to get rid of it, I just press the delete key. And you can see it's gone from this panel. But what if we don't want anybody to be able to delete this? So I stamp it. I want it to become part of the document. In other words, I just want to flatten this into the document. Um, all you do is select that, go up to the toolbar button, click that. You'll get this message that says cancel or flatten. So it gives you a chance to cancel that. I'm going to click flatten. You also get a warning message. The reason we did this is because flattening like this is irreversible. So you want to make sure that that's what you want to do. So I'll click yes. You can see it's gone from the comment panel. And I can't select that anymore. It's no longer a stamp. It's actually part of the document. I'm just going to close this and I'll show you something else. You can actually do simple form design with this tool using the, the different annotations. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I mean. Um, here's our logo. So I'm going to stamp right there. I'm going to select it and press flatten and yes. So now that's part of the document. I'm just going to go ahead and create and flatten a bunch of annotations so you can see how you can uh, design forms like this. By the way, these are add-on tools that we created and you can use our tool button, uh, toolbar button creator. If you're a premium member at pdfautomationstation.com, you'll be able to create these toolbar buttons yourself with ease. Um, just go ahead and download that tool. So let me go into comment again. And uh, just going to move this out of the way here. And I'm going to use our number incrementing tool here. It's a stamp tool that will just increment numbers. Premium members can use this tool also. We're constantly adding tools all the time. And our members can just download and start using. And if you subscribe to our newsletter, you'll always know when new tools are being added. That time I selected three and flattened them all at once. Um, I'm going to draw some lines here. If you want to draw a perfectly straight line, just hold down the shift key like that. And let's just copy that. Whoops. So no, no annotations here, no stamps. This is actually part of the PDF document now. And I can add form fields to this now.
and uh, let's go back to comments. I'm going to put another annotation. Do that again. I accidentally held down the shift key. That'll give you a perfect square as you're dragging. I don't want that though. I just want to put this box here. So what I want to show you here is that it will only flatten the selected annotation or stamp. It's not going to flatten these form fields. So let's do that. And there you go. The form fields still work. Notice that these are highlighted. Um, all of the old versions of Acrobat. There was a... a button just up here to unhighlight that we couldn't find one on this Acrobat DC so we created one right here with our custom toolbar button maker and maybe you can't see that let me just bring this toolbar button or this toolbar down so I just click that and it unhighlights or highlights see the form fields there and that concludes today's demonstration thanks for watching and uh, Become a member, you'll have access to all of these tools. Thank you.